Hi, it's Jay here again and welcome to another video. So we're still continuing on with the optimization and in the last lesson we actually completed the light optimization and now we're going to do the same with the audio source. So let's come up to the top here of sunny weather and we're going to add a line of code so we'll say audio source and then we'll assign a naming convention so let's just say audio audio comp for audio component and it's going to be equal to the get component we'll open and close brackets come inside the actual audio source We'll come to the end, we'll open and close brackets, and we'll close the line off. And into the comments. Audio comp is equal to the audio source. So, let's copy this line, and we'll have to put it into each weather state. So... We'll come to Funder, we'll paste it in, and we'll just keep going down. So, we'll paste it in for Mist. For Overcast, and finally for Snow. So, let's come back up to Sunny Weather. So, now this variable equals... All of this, get component, audio source, and the brackets. We can copy this variable, and that's what we can delete from these lines. So, do not delete this open bracket, obviously, but get component, and it does include these two brackets here. So, we'll paste that in. So, now we've just got if, open brackets, underscore, audio comp, dot and volume and we'll just keep going down the state so everywhere where that appears we can just paste over with our naming convention so there's quite a lot to do but uh, we'll go steady and we'll get all of these in place And we've nearly finished, just a few more at the bottom here. So, and here we are with the last one. So, before we continue, let's just tidy up the comments as we always do. Uh, we'll just bring them all back into line. And then we'll save it off and we'll go and test it out. And it should work exactly as before. Only this time we're just getting the audio component once per every time this void is read rather than the multiple times we were before. So let's downsize mono develop. And we'll highlight our dynamic weather script and we'll hit play. <clears throat> so we'll come to the console. And if I collapse down, you can actually. In fact, let me just pause it there for a moment. So, as you can see, we're in the uh, sunny weather state. So. It seems to be working fine. Uh, we'll just keep swapping over until we get back to sunny again. Oh, and I skipped over it there, unfortunately. 
sorry about that, let's just keep going. There we go, we're back into sunny, so the previous audio clip's reducing. And now we're playing the sunny audio. As you can see, we're in the sun. So we'll just stop that there. So we'll come back to this now. So all this is still working as it did before, only now it's a lot more optimised. And let's... Um, we'll come down to Funder. Now, I'm not going to do it all in this video because I think it would make it a long and boring video to watch. But we've copied this line into each of the weather states. And obviously you just need to repeat the process for all the other states. So we can just keep going down. This is obviously Funder. And obviously once you've done them all, just have a quick look through your code. Make sure that you haven't missed any. And um, everything should work at before. But as I said, the scripts are now a lot more optimised. And uh, obviously just tidy up your comments as you go. Um, I'm going to do the rest of these off camera. As I said, it would make for a too long and too boring video if I was just to sit here and do them all for all the states. But um, we'll leave it here for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you next time, and until then, as always, bye for now.